This is a review for Management 310, Chapter 2. Let's go over the terms first. Number one, big data. It's self-explanatory, just data in a large volume, velocity, or variety. Uh, second is data-driven decisions. So this is um, kind of like the scientific process that has uh, strategic objectives for a company to, um, to achieve. And you're going to want to know the scientific process as well. Descriptive analytics focuses on what happened. So I like to think of this as subjective versus objective. This would be subjective, what happened. Even though something did happen, but it's not like numerical based. Next is high performance work practices. So this is the universal um, best HR practices. So an example of this would be like newcomer training. Everybody's going to want to have these these just high performance work practices. Next is human capital. So like we talked about in last video, this includes um, KSAO, which is knowledge, skills, abilities, and others that people have that they offer to a company. And this is often said to be um, a company's most valuable asset. A lot of times just because the cost of um, employee acquisition, but it's that's up for debate. That's another conversation. <laughs> um, Next is HR analytics, so this is people-related data. Next is small data. Uh, this is obvious, just data in small value, volume, usually for a specific use. A mission is an organization's purpose. Predictive analytics is a focus, analytical focus on patterns and what's likely to happen based on current data, versus prescriptive analytics is what actions should be taken based on the predictive analytics. So you can think of this like a doctor, like predictions, uh, predictive analytics, you can make predictions like based on uh, trends from past patients, but prescriptive analytics, just like a prescription, is what should actually be done to prevent undesirable uh, medical conditions. Next is qualitative data. So this is non-numeric data. So I have brown hair. That's qualitative because it's a quality I have. Um, next is quantitative data. So this is a numerically measured um, piece of data. So this could be like your height. I don't know how tall I am, but you get the point. Scientific process. So this is um, a problem solving system and knowledge requires evidence for this. So I won't go over all of the steps, but you're gonna wanna review that. Next is stakeholders. So this is customers, investors, employees, etc. Um, you can remember this like something is at stake for them depending on how the business does. Next is strategic HR management. So this is HR policies times the company goals. So basically looking at what do we want to achieve, but what do we also want to follow in terms of um, being an ethical company. Strategy is a devised plan, devised plan to achieve objective goals. You can think of lots of strategies, or like, I don't know, in sports, your formation would be an example of a strategy, or like, if you're playing Fortnite, like, with, with a group, like, strategy would be like, oh, let's all land here, then go out from there. It's an embarrassing example, anyway. Uh, strategy implementation is actually following that plan and doing it. Next is systems perspective. So this is a view of all, how all the pieces in a system work together. So just kind of like the big picture. Next is values. So this is parameters for making good decisions for the business. Vision is what an organization wants to look like in the future. Those ones are kind of obvious. So I'll just go over the final part. Three more terms from our Excel. Number one, categorical data is um, data that has multiple levels, but no hierarchy. So maybe it would be like um, another, like what hair color do you have? Or a category, uh, what's your major? The category, it comes from the word. Etymology, I feel like is really good in this class. Um, continuous data is like numerically ordered data. So kind of like qualitative and quantitative. And you gotta remember that um, for categorical data, you're gonna, to see the data, you're gonna wanna use a column or a bar chart. 
and have it displayed um, either counted or for frequency or percentage versus continuous data, you'll want that to be more numerically de um, depicted because it's like, with hair color, what are you gonna say? Like one, two, like, you can't really do that. So you're gonna want, um, for like height, you could have a mean or a standard deviation and then display that in a histogram. There you go.